So I've gotten a lot of questions about the Lumen device after I posted my video to Instagram and uh, my product review on my blog. So I thought instead of answering them directly, I would just get on a video and explain to you a little bit more about the device and answer some of those questions. So if you didn't read my blog or see my video on Instagram, if you're not familiar with the Lumen device, it measures your RER, which gives you a reading on how you're doing with your metabolism. So RER is your respiratory exchange ratio. Lumen works by measuring a breath, a single breath. Um, within that breath, it measures your CO2 and your flow. The, it has a flow meter, which gives a reading based on a standard. That standard tells you if you're burning carbohydrates or if you're burning fat. So, one of the questions that I got was, how do you know if it is dietary fat or body fat you are burning? Well, since it measures your CO2 output, it's not reading you know, how much carb or fat you're storing. It's basically determining if your exchange ratio is at a level where you would be burning carbs or burning fat. So that's how the device works. If you have any more questions about that, you should visit my blog where I explain in more detail about what your RER is. The next question, they're worried that the device would actually give you a reading that would tell you to eat more calories than maybe what you're used to. So actually it doesn't. Um, my experience with it is it's based on how much of the data that you put into the app. So you need to tell it, you know, your body weight, how many calories you are burning based on your activity level. You need to put in and track your daily workouts, uh, what you're eating as well, and based on your age, your weight, your height, your uh, amount of activity you're doing, it's going to give you a caloric reading, your basal metabolic rate, and based on that and your goals, it's going to tell you how many calories you should be eating within a range. Now, of course, that is just a given. It's an app. It's only going to be able to do so much and provide you with so much information. So you really need to pay attention. You know, if you're used to burning more calories than it's telling you to, then make sure you're eating more calories. If you're used to eating less, then make sure you're eating less. For myself, my own personal experience, it told me from my experience as a dieter for so long, competing in fitness, but also uh, my experience as a nutritionist, uh, it told me pretty accurately how many calories I needed in order to lose weight. So that is good. And that is based on my experience using an in-body machine, which is a, another accurate measurement of uh, your cal calories that you're burning and calories you should be eating. One of the last questions I got, does it show you the ratio of fat to carbs you're burning since we are always burning both? No, it doesn't show a ratio. It shows you a sliding scale from one to five. So five being that you are basically only burning carbs and one being that you're only burning fat. For myself, I found that um, if I was burning, or actually, if I was eating more carbs throughout the day, when I would wake up and do my first morning measurement, it would show me that I'm still burning carbs. And to be honest, I could feel it. Once you pay attention to those things, you can kind of see, am I really hungry? Is it actually, you know, am, just because it's the morning, is it time for me to eat? Or can I fast a little bit longer until I'm burning fat and then start eating again? So I found it to be fairly accurate. Again, it's gonna be dependent on what your goals are. If you're a person who's running and needs more carbs, then it's okay if it's in that carb range. If you're the person who has a hard time like myself, you're a slow carb burner, then I found this device very useful for me because then I knew if I was burning fat, burning carbs, is it time for me to eat? Am I just feeling hunger because it's a habit or not? So those are all the questions that I had right now. Um, if you want more information about this device and how to use it, please visit my blog, sexystrongfit.com, or follow me on Instagram at sexyfitlauren.